it seems to me to be something of a catchphrase. I've heard it in a lot of different contexts, but the general way I've heard it is, I don't live by fear, I live by faith. I think this idea of fear and faith I think sort of grew out of the COVID-19 pandemic when people who didn't want to wear masks on their face for a public health measure, you know, started comparing it to being afraid rather than having faith and not wearing a mask. So I don't want to talk about masking, but I want to talk about this fear and faith and how we understand fear and faith and really ask, do they have anything to do with each other? As I talk about this, I want to invite you to subscribe to this channel and click the bell so you're notified of future videos. Fear. Fear is a basic human emotion. Now, and other animals experience it too. Fear is rooted in the amygdala. And the amygdala it sends out the signals of fear. And those signals of fear are sent out when we perceive danger. We may not see it, we may feel it, we may hear something, but we sense that there's danger in our environment. And so we experience fear. It's a warning sign. The amygdala pumps out the neurochemicals and our prefrontal cortex helps us to make decisions about what to do. So that there's a decision process involved with fear. What are we gonna do when we feel afraid? For instance, if you're leaving a restaurant at night and walking back to your car and you turn down a street to where your car is parked and you realize the street's really dark, there's nobody here, you may feel afraid. You're still gonna go to your car because you want your car, but you're gonna pay attention. You're gonna carry yourself in certain ways and, and you may do certain things to help protect yourself as you go to your car. That's fear, the amygdala, and the prefrontal cortex all working together. So fear's a really good thing because it really gives us information about what's happening around us. When don't we feel afraid? We don't feel afraid when we're secure, when we're safe, when we know that everything's okay. When we have that feeling of safety, there's no need for fear. It's interesting to me that the author of the first letter of John in the Bible says that perfect love removes all fear. For the author of that letter, what he was trying to say is that when we experience love, when we experience unconditional love, we don't have any fear because we're safe, we're secure, we're relaxed. So the opposite of fear is that safe, secure, relaxed kind of outlook on life. So that's where fear really comes into play. Fear is important for us. It's good to feel afraid. It should alert us to how to make the next step in, in whatever it is we're doing. Faith. I think most people misunderstand faith. They think that faith has to do with certainty. I know because I know because I know kind of talk. That's not faith. We know things to be true because they're observable facts. For instance, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. It does it every day. We can see it, we know it's gonna happen. It's an observable fact. It doesn't change. You can believe it or not, it doesn't matter. It's still gonna happen. The same way the moon circles the planet and it goes through different phases from light to dark. That's a fact. Nothing you do can change that fact. Facts are things we observe that we, that we know to be true. That has nothing to do with faith. Faith has to do with the ambiguous nature of life. We often want to think that life fits into clear categories, that it's good or bad, that it's right or it's wrong, that it's this or it's that. But life isn't like that. Life is mostly in the in middle, in that gray area where we interpret things, where we decide whether something's good or bad, and, and often based on our own perspective. For instance, if a storm blows through your neighborhood, if your house goes through the storm and no damage, that's a good thing. But the neighbor down the street had a house, had a tree fall on their house. Well, wasn't so good for the neighbor now, was it? Was the storm good or bad? Well, it was ambiguous. You get a new job, you're excited, you got the job you want. 
but you know, probably lots of other people didn't get that job, and maybe someone really needed that job. Good and bad, right and wrong. Most things are ambiguous depending on your perspective. That's where faith comes into play. An important part of my faith is my continual belief that life is fundamentally good, that there's something rich and beautiful and wonderful about life. I've been through some difficult things in life. I've talked about that in other videos. But despite the difficulties I've experienced, despite the, the hardship I've seen, I still believe that fundamentally there is goodness in life. Do I know that there are bad things happening in people's lives? Yeah, I know that people can be very cruel, they can be jealous, they can be greedy, they can really harm other people. They can harm the planet out of their maliciousness. But yet, despite that evidence, I still believe that life itself carries with it the possibility of finding goodness, of hope, of beauty. That's faith. I'm looking at something that's amb ambiguous, that there's evidence for both things, and I choose to focus on a certain belief in the goodness in life. In fact, that idea of faith is drawn out of the work of Soren Kierkegaard, the philosopher and theologian. Kierkegaard talked about faith having a leap of stepping forward into the unknown. We often talk about a leap of faith. What Kierkegaard was talking about was that in the face of life's ambiguities, of not knowing, not having certainty, we choose to take a leap and believe something to be true. And one of my fundamental beliefs is about life's goodness. Even though there's plenty of evidence to the contrary, I choose to believe in goodness. So faith and fear, they're really not related to each other. Whether we're in fear or not, we still have the opportunity for faith. And because I believe in life's goodness, I still wear a mask when I'm out in public. Not because anyone else needs to, but because I want to protect my own life and the life of other people. I don't want anybody to get sick. So I make a decision out of faith that this is a good thing and a way to engender life, to protect life. And you can make your own decisions. The point is that choosing goodness and life and faith leads us to be aware of how we walk in the world and how we carry ourselves. Thanks for your time today. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, like the video, share it with others, leave me some comments, and know that I appreciate the time you spend with spirituality beyond borders. Have a great day.